Hi, this is Jennifer here at Open Helix. Welcome to this tip of the week. If you're viewing this movie somewhere other than at our blog, be sure to check out the post at blog.openhelix.com so that you can see the full discussion with references and links, etc. In today's tip, I am going to feature a resource that I found in the Nucleic Acids Research um, web server issue, as I explain in um, the post. And the resource that I'm going to be featuring is called Metaboanalyst 2. So, um, you can read this paper if you want to. I link to it in my blog post. We'll go over to the resource itself. Um, here I am showing its homepage, and I have a link to the resource as well in my post. Um, so I think probably the best way to quickly give you an idea of what Metaboanalyst does is to click over to the overview. They have a really great figure that shows all of the different kinds of um, metabolic data that you can uh, upload and then all of their abilities, how to um, actually analyze, format, etc., your data, and then um, all of the different types of analyses that you can do. And then you can download them, um, your process data. You can also do publication quality images, etc. So. Um, for this quick tip, I just want to do a quick demonstration. I'm going to click on the quick start. The um, Metaboanalyst team has really strived to make a very intuitive um, tool. So really, it's pretty self-explanatory. Here we are on a quick start page. You can upload your data, and they also allow you um, to try various sample data sets so that you can get an idea of how this resource works without actually having to have the um, data yet. I'm going to click on this example set uh, concentrations. You can read the description here. And then I just click Submit. Very quickly, we get a page where we could um, check the data integrity. For this quick tip, I'm going to skip this step. Next, you can normalize your data. For this step, I am going to click Normalize by a reference sample, create a pooled average sample from the group, and then I'm going to click Auto Scaling. Um, I got these uh, settings actually from one of their tutorials. So click Process. Very quickly what I get are two graphs. So this shows my data before normalization, and this shows it after. So then I can um, look at that, click on the Next button. In this next uh, step, you can um, you can see that you can uh, explore a variety of different analysis paths as outlined here. What I'm hoping you um, have noted over here is these steps are outlined on the left. It's a very nice, like I said, intuitive tool. So we uploaded, processed, normalized. Now we can do statistics. Other analysis that we could do are enrichment, pathway, time series, download our data, peak search. Um, the paper that I showed you is very well written and explains the tool. As I said, the interface um, is very intuitive. They have a lot of tutorials, etc. If you come over here, you can see there are tutorials, facts, resources, etc. If you do metabolic analysis, especially large scale, please check out Metabo Analyst 2.0. Thanks for joining me. Bye.